Oh, hi there. You're on the trip with us. I'm so glad that you are. In today's episode, we have just left Toto Santos, not for good, but just for the day, and going down south to Cabo San Lucas. Gonna take a little look about down there and just pass through El Pescadero. And there was a previous video on Pescadero, and you probably have looked at that by now. Jenny, you can hear her in the back seat. She's going with us, of course, and she's panting because she's nervous. She's a nervous rider. She's already had her little happy pill a couple of hours ago, but she's not happy yet. All right, passing by uh, Cerritos Beach, and you've seen that in a previous episode, I know. We're going to show you a couple of uh, video things as we travel down this road. Some of those you've already seen when uh, I took Renee to the airport uh, at Cabo, but uh, I mean, some of the scenes are just so pretty, you got to see them again. The ocean, the Pacific, is gorgeous. Thank you for joining us on this adventure today. We appreciate you hitting that subscribe button if you've not already done so. It really helps us to grow our channel. Hit the like button. We appreciate that as well. And uh, drop us a comment. We love to hear from our friends and to be able to comment back. All right. Let's see what we see on down the road. If you drive about an hour south of Todos Santos, hugging the Pacific, you arrive at one of Mexico's most tourist-attractive destinations, Cabo San Lucas. In English, that's St. Luke Cape. Cabo San Lucas rests at the southern tip of the Baja Peninsula and boasts a population of a little more than 200,000. Cabo is most likely the Mexican city with the highest cost of living, though. People come here for the beautiful beaches, the warm Pacific waters, scuba diving, tons of marine life, sport fishing, and of course, the rock formations known as Arco de Cabo San Lucas. These here are the southern tip of the peninsula and where the Pacific Ocean meets the Gulf of California. If you're here in October, you may want to participate in the Bisbee's Los Cabos Offshore. It's the highest paying marlin tournament in the world. To give you an example, in 2022, Team El Mexicano landed a 461-pound blue marlin on the third day. This earned their team the highest amount of the event, $3,263,700. Wow, get my poll. If you're here in the winter months, you'll be able to see whales who have traveled over 6,000 miles from Alaska and Siberia to give birth in the warm Gulf of California waters. Cruise ships, like the one you'll see in this episode, are frequent visitors to Cabo. While we could not afford to live here, it is a beautiful city to visit for a day or longer. We got everything we need right here. Wine and burning chemistry. You and me alone. You and me alone. Inside of our embassy. Watch 
afternoon spent on the beach in Cabo San Lucas. Can it get any better than this? Our pup Jenny said, no, it can't. And friend, it was made so much better because you were here with us. Thank you for joining us on the journey. If you have not already done so, please hit the like button, subscribe, share, and don't forget, we have another channel called Take a Breath. Go over and check it out, please. I think you will like it. Dios te bendiga, mi amigos.